In this video, I'm going to show you how to change a few system settings to allow workflow easier and to set it up for your own personal preferences regarding kits and patterns. I'm not going to get deep into the MIDI or audio outs. We could do that in a different video. First thing you want to do, push utility and you can start scrolling through. The LCD contrast is not necessary. Knob mode is your knobs here, how you want them to react when you turn them. Direct means as soon as you move it, it jumps to that setting. Catch means you have to turn it to get to what the previous setting was before it will start adjusting. I like direct. Manual mode is the volume of everything. On level, the volume of all your instruments are based off of your level sliders. All will do all knobs, level sliders, and kit settings. Off will give you no control as soon as you fire it up. It's all based off your kit setting. I recommend keeping it at level. That's how it was. That's how you're probably used to. Don't mess with it. Start pattern. This is where you want to start when you turn your TR-8S on. As you notice, every time you turn it on, it goes to the Berlin flyover. Um, unless you're working on that one, it doesn't make sense. What I do is scroll to the left, right there for last. This way, every time you turn it on, it starts right at the pattern you were last working on. From there, same thing with your kit. I select last, that way it goes to the last kit I was working on, unless you want it to start up with a specific kit. This will help workflow get you back into your work uh, as soon as you get back in the studio or where, where have you. Your tempo source it will change either with the pattern, your tempo will change based off of what each pattern's tempo setting is, or system means no matter what pattern you choose, the tempo is locked to what you set it at using your tempo knob. It'll stay steady throughout all your patterns. I keep it on pattern because I like my patterns to have different tempos. Same thing with everything else. Your instrument pad, this is how sensitive that is. You can set it to your liking. I haven't found a whole big change. Maybe a new firmware update will allow a little more noticeable change, but you have your light, medium, heavy, and fixed sensitivity. I put it on a light, that way I don't have to bang the crap out of it. And then your manual trigger for your autofill, this button right here. Latch means pushing the button, it will activate the fill and hold it till the fill is done. If you go to momentary, the fill only activates as you're holding the button when you let go, it deactivates the manual trigger. Set it to how you like. Your weak beats, you can either make a weak beat on your instrument play, let's do it right here, on the instrument play by holding shift and pushing the button, it'll give you or input a weak beat with less velocity and without shift pushing the button gives you the full full velocity. You do it that way or when it says pad it will cycle through full velocity, half velocity or weak beat and then off each time you press your button. I don't like it that way You're pushing it too many times to cycle through kind of messes with my workflow. So I keep it with shift. That way I could just hit shift and hit my button. I have a weak beat. Easy. Those we went through. Auto save is something for you guys that forget or don't want to have to worry about saving your pattern and kit when you turn it off. If you turn auto save on, every time you turn your system off, it will save the pattern and kit as it was. If you have it off, you have to save everything yourself. 
the rest uh, is reloading samples we went over your LEDs uh, the sliders for kit, the demo, this is the one I wanted to show you as you've noticed if you leave it alone for five minutes you get a light show and some of you guys like it, some of you guys don't if you don't like it, scroll down until it says off hit enter and you're good to go all the rest we won't get into, your sinks and your midis and your mix out and your sign outs and externals and your utilities and blah 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 so that's everything else this should get you set up so every time you turn it on you're right back to where you started and you can continue with your work now that you've done all this to the system settings you push right it will ask you if you want to write pattern kit or system you want to write system system write ok write complete now this should set you up to the last pattern and last kit you were on and all your settings are saved so if I turn this off and then back on it should not be back at the Roland fly or the Berlin flyover I'm right back to the pattern I was at I'm right back to the kit I was at I'm ready to get back into work I hope this helps thanks for watching